This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. From WFAA.com, Dallas police see an Oak Cliff mother who accidentally ran over her four-year-old son Thursday morning is not facing charges. The boy died of his injuries soon after being rushed to Children's Medical Center. Police said 32-year-old Annabelle Avila was dropping off her two children at their grandmother's house before heading to work when the accident happened. Avila had pulled into the driveway in the 800 block of Four Raker Street at about 7.20 a.m. She watched her nine-year-old daughter get out and head towards the house, but couldn't see her son, Fernando. Police said Avila started backing up, looking for her son, but did not realize he was behind the family suburban, bent over, as he picked up a box that had fallen from his backpack. By the time Avila realized she had backed up over her son, it was too late. Police said Fernando suffered critical injuries head to toe and was rushed to the hospital. Police are calling the incident a tragic accident. They say the case will be referred to a grand jury. From KHOU.com, a controversial ruling from a Houston judge has sparked a firestorm among breastfeeding mothers. Donica Venters had sued a debt collection company, Houston Funding, that she claimed fired her because she asked to bring a breast pump to work. Venter's attorney said her employee reviews had always been positive before she was let go. Houston Funding claimed that Venter's left on her own, that the company had not heard from her and assumed that she had abandoned her job. The lawsuit has dragged on for years, but late last week, Judge Lynn Hughes ruled against Venter's. He said that firing someone because of lactation or breast pumping is not sexual discrimination. Even if Venter's claims are true, Hughes wrote, the law does not punish lactation discrimination. Hughes added that lactation is not pregnancy, childbirth, or a related medical condition. From Plano and WFAA.com, massive job cuts are coming for Pepsi and Plano-based Frito-Lay. There was speculation the two companies would split apart Thursday, but instead they will remain part of one company under the name PepsiCo, Inc but the company will have 8,700 fewer employees. That is 3% of the company's workforce. Pepsi has struggled of late, falling to the number three spot in the U.S. soda market. If you'd like the latest Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow on YouTube. Simply search SkyServe News or Gene Key. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.